Hey, this is Dean Blandino with the 33rd team, and this is Make That Call. And today I have my very esteemed, honored guest, former head coach of the Detroit Lions, former assistant coach, been around the NFL for a long, long time. Marty Morningwig. Marty, great to see you. And what we do here is we're just going to talk some officiating. We're going to talk some football. And I know as a coach, you probably had questions about officiating over the course of your career. So last week, another exciting, another exciting weekend of NFL games. But what what caught your eye from an officiating perspective? Well, how about this Chris Jones tripping call? Was it a trip, right? And it looked it looked to be the correct call from my point of view. But but then Chris is tied up. He's tied up with his upper body with the offensive lineman. And he is going to do everything in his power to get the quarterback on the ground. So a little leg comes up. How, first of all, was it tripping? And second of all, how many tripping calls are actually called throughout a year in the NFL? Yeah, good, good question. So I did think it was tripping, I thought. But you made the key point. I think that's what makes this. You don't have a lot of tripping calls. It's, it's typically you might have less than 10 over the course of a full season. Right. You just don't see it very often. And when it does happen, it's a difficult call to make because, like you said, he's locked up with the offensive lineman. You know, he's coming off the edge. It was the, it was the right tackle, and he's, he's locked up. And so where the officials' eyes are going to be, obviously, are going to be on that contact up in the upper body because they're going to be looking for holding and they're going to be looking for those types of things. And so a lot of times if something happens below below the waist, they don't see it. And, you know, he's locked up. He comes in on the, on the, on the rush, and he does stick out his leg. You know, Josh Allen immediately jumped up and was, and was campaigning for the call from the referee. And the referee, I just don't think the referee saw it. You're looking for that contact. You know, is it, is it holding? You've got the hands outside the frame. You know, what is the defensive player doing? And, uh, and sometimes you miss that contact below the waist, and you just don't have an extra set of eyes in that situation. There were three receivers to that side of the field, so your line of scrimmage official has to cover – the, the, the routes and the receivers on that side. So you don't have an extra set of eyes to help. And uh, I did think it was tripping, but you just don't see that very often. Um, and, yeah. uh, and the referee, you know, again, was looking, focusing on the upper body. In fact, I have seen more trippings not called than called. Yeah. And you just went through the process of what an official is looking at and what he's seeing. So that clears things up for me.